Yo, what's up my wolf pack? Alpha pack right here. And today, in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Eden Zero, Chapter 27, Ghost Escape Plan. Let's get it, all right? You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be reviewing, reviewing Eden Zero, Chapter 27, uh, Ghost Escape Plan. Bro, I'm low key, I'm binge recording all of these videos right now, bro. My hands are literally frozen. I, bro, low key, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> I can't feel my hands, but whatever. I'm going with it. I'm I'm kicking all these videos out today. Right now. I don't care. Let's get it. Alright. So kicking things off. We see that the entire Oh, using my phone. So if I'm looking this way, that's why. So kicking off. We see that the entire uh planet or the city that, that we're in, the, the town's inhabitants, they're all in a panic. They're running through the streets, screaming. Uh, you know, you got people driving around. There's smoke. There's smoke emitting, emitting from buildings. So I'm assuming that buildings are, like, crashing down all around them, right? We got, we see, like, a whole army, a whole fleet of ships, like, Legit flying throughout the sky trying to escape give us before the time eater the crown of flash touches down, right? We see We, we got we got random dudes random criminals in a in the street firing off shots with their machine guns There's actually this one image of this girl laying down laying face down Like I'm not sure if she's dead or if she's in pain, but I'm assuming she got shot so That's that's honestly a pretty disturbing image like no lie um, Rebecca and Pino are looking at what's going down. What a panic. If Shiki doesn't hurry up, we'll be in trouble. Miss Rebecca. I am glad that we were able to rescue Miss Copa. Oh, bro, I forgot about this, right? I forgot about this. Um... I remember when Pino and, and Shiki first showed up, she gather, they gathered up all the girls, and they were about to bounce, but Rebecca was all like, we're missing Copa, I can't leave her behind, and Pino will be like, Pino was all like, it will be inefficient to risk the safety of others to go looking for one person, and Rebecca was all like, I know, but she's my friend. And if a friend's missing, you go looking for him or something like that, right? And uh, it's, it's from, so from right here, we're seemingly get we're see, we seemingly seeing Pino get character development because now she's saying, "I'm glad we stayed to help Cooper." So I really like that a lot. And Rebecca just gave her like this real cute smile, bro. Um, I'm getting a transmission from the ship. Master and friends will be arriving shortly friends wise and miss homora and sister as well miss homora joined us and contributed to the escape plan shiki made quite a few friends while i was gone scary <laughs> what's that noise huh oh so right okay so right now we see buildings literally just like collapsing in on themselves crashing to the ground the building tree okay a tree literally just popped up from the ground what's happening is this the cause of the chronophage i mean aren't you supposed to just eat time stop destroying the planet the gravity field is reaching unexplained numbers the planet's ether is counterflowing okay trees legit just erupted from the ground and are wrapping around the legia's tower Whoa, a whole bunch of trees are popping up out of nowhere. Miss Rebecca. Okay, like a giant a giant crater just formed under Rebecca. Now she's legit like falling down into it. Miss Rebecca. <laughs> Shiki Loki just ran in out of nowhere. He like he just he 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 just dipped in, pushed off oh pushed off a wall, and he's like free falling towards Rebecca. Just in time, bro. There's this cute shot with with Shiki, and he has his arms wrapped around Rebecca. It just makes me shift them more, man. I love Shiki and Rebecca together. I just, I, I hope, um, 
they're not I'm not suing Lucy I hope they get together um Shiki master Shiki just he like used the debris to hide back up out of the crater the falling debris looks like you saved me again looks like you saved me again don't worry about it we're friends aren't we what's happening here due to the incoming chronophage this planet's ether is going crazy disgusting disgusting the trees look alive stop slithering and moving you stop slithering and moving you freaks <laughs> bro okay so Evelyn, Sister Ivory, she, she's a lot more childish than what I expected her to be, and I'm, I'm not mad at it, I mean, cause, you know, she's funny, right, she, she says these weird, funny things, and she's a lot different from Witch, who is, from E4, who's a lot more serious, right, so, I kind of like that, you know. I'm not mad at it. Um, and why is wise? Let us save the introductions for later. We need to get out of here first. Oh, look at that! It's the Eden Zero. Damn, I missed that ship. This is the. This is the Eden Zero. We can't get near enough due to the trees. Rebecca! Demi King, is there no way to move the trees? Rebecca, are you okay? Happy. But I remember when I first read this through, I felt, I felt so bad for Happy because when Rebecca first got kidnapped, we saw Happy all broke up and he was crying because he couldn't save Rebecca and Rebecca literally got kidnapped before his eyes. And... He he was so tore up over it. I felt so bad. So it's it's kind of cute to see how happy he is. How happy he is to see Rebecca. But what can we do? The trees are growing at an exponential rate. Hey, we're going to get trapped here. We just have to get through these trees, right? Let's do it. But Homura pulled out her little ether swords. Uh, Wise pulled out a handgun. Dance or a machine gun. Dance of the Leopard Claw. But I love when I love how Homura's blaze looks. She just look he just started slicing and dicing all the trees that was growing up growing around him, bro. Her her swords, they, they have like a weird design. I'm still not used to her, to the design of her swords. But the way she uses them is cool. Right? I, I love Homura. She she's like a mix of Urza and Kagura, but with not all the bad as aspects of Urza and Kagura, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just like Homura more than Urza and Kagura in general. And in case you didn't know, I am not a big fan of Kagura at all. <laughs> I don't like Kagura. Ether gear, that sword. Okay, so it seems like Evelyn recognizes the ether that Homura uses. Atlas Flame, bro. Why is just shout out Flames from his machine gun? And Atlas Flame, hey, shout out to Atlas Flames back in Fairy Tale. You know, uh, that dragon that was made up of uh, made up of pure fire. He debuted with seven other dragons in Future Rogue in a Grand Magic Games arc, and um, he he was also in a, um. He also debuted in the in that Sun Village arc with Flair, where he was like the creator of. Of her, of her home village with the giants and all that, so I, I see you, hero, doing a little doing a little throwback to fairy tale with with the Atlas Flame. I, I, I see you, I see you. Okay, at, at, Atlas Flame. So why is it like burning down trees? A flamethrower? Where'd he get that? He he probably configured configured his assault rifle into that. We cannot land yet. Hurry. So they created like a small opening into the trees that surrounded them. Well, we'll be fine with this big of a hole opened up. That's impossible. In order to land, leave the landing to me. Everyone hold on tight. 
No way. Here we go. To Eden Zero. We're flying. Oh. We're flying. Bruh, Sneaky just like grabbed on to, to Rebecca, Wise, Hamora, and Evelyn. He, he like grabbed on to the crew. He created like this, this, uh, this ship, this ball of ether around him. And he's like launching himself towards the, towards the ship, towards Eden and Zero. Bruh, the way Sneaky utilizes his ether is amazing. I love it. This man seemingly has no emulet, has a, what was that? This man seemingly has no limits, and it's awesome. I love it. We're flying. More accurately, we're falling towards Eden Zero. Gravity is pretty amazing. So this is the Demon King's strength. I love how Homura and Wise are filling up on Shiki. Especially Wise, because I'm Wise always gives Shiki so much trouble. So... I'm glad that he's like throwing a little bit respect towards Shiki in this aspect by saying gravity is so amazing, you know. Let's go. We'll, we will be leaving Gils now. Eden Zero Full Thrust. This day will be known as the Day of Gils Purification. A planet fueled by money and lust. Almost ironic, almost ironic that a disaster returned it to a, to a more, to a more, pro, pro, wow, almost ironic that a disaster returned it to a more prosperous time. A creation beyond the knowledge of man, space continues to be enclosed in mysteries, eating away many lives and eating, and eating away 1,200 years of time. To be continued in chapter 28, New Friends. Hmm. All right. So. Okay. So if I was to rate this chapter. I'll give it. I'll give it a three. It's another three. Because not much really happened. It, it was. It was just into, centered around the crew. Leaving the planet. Right. So I'll give it a three. It was decent. But something I want to comment on. The time eater, the chronophot ate 1,200 years of time. And from the image that we saw, it looked like there was no human lives. It was seemingly just wildlife and animals. And you know not everybody got off that planet. And that sucks. That, that sucks. That's sad. But... Here's the thing. I wasn't aware. I, I was under the impression that the Time Eater was only going to eat 50 years. Because it, it only ate 50 years of enormous time, right? So I was like, okay, when the Time Eater gets the gills, it's only going to take 50 years. Easy. But it ate a, over a thousand years. And, bruh, you... you <laughs> Bruh, had the thought of your existence being wiped out and there's nothing you can do about it is terrifying. And, and you know not even half of the population got off that planet, right? So, And that sucks considering, you know, most of those people have to be have to be the victims of the criminals that were inhabiting that planet. And it sucks because an opportunity finally arrives itself to where they can escape, but they don't even make it. So, yeah, man, that... that that's that's honestly pretty dark, you know, and that sucks, right? But like I was saying, man, I was under the impression that only 50 years was going to eat. But with over 1,200 years, it's like the Time Eater seemingly has no limit to how much time they can eat. And so I'm wondering... Uh, I know, like, way back when, you know, old Professor Wise was all like, there's no way to stop the Time Eater. But it's like, surely they're going to have to face this thing at one thing, right? I mean, surely they're going to have to face this thing at one point, right? I mean, because if it's just going to keep getting in the way and hindering, you know, or involving itself in whatever is going on, 
aren't they going to have to do battle with this thing at one point? Like, try to fire it up, take it down or something? T to me, that would make the most sense, you know, just to eliminate this sort of thing from existence. Because if it's just one, I'm assuming it's just one. You know, they should be able to take it down. Well, probably not easy, but at least take get rid of it. At least that's what I think. I don't know. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, man. Other than that, I'd say this chapter was pretty decent. I just wanted to give my little two cents on what happened at the end there. Because a thousand and two hundred years. <sighs> Jesus. That, and like I said, man, that little image they showed that was just full of animals and, and nature. And it looked like there was a single ounce of human life. So, I don't know if when humans went to ghosts. But I think it was stated that when a time of year eats, when a time eater eats the same amount of time, Whatever time, whatever time period that uh, the planet that the time, wow, whatever time period that it's set back to, that's where it stays. Like it doesn't go forward; it just stays in that specific that specific time zone, and that's what happened back on Gills, and that's why Young Wise is with the crew now. So it's like uh, Gills is going to stay in that uh, time period with, with the nature and the trees and all the animals and stuff. So it's it's kind of good, but bad at the same time because so many people lives got snuffed out, you know. But yeah, I, okay. But uh, yeah, man, I'm starting to ramble for too much, so I'm just gonna end the video right here and now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in whatever video I do next. Peace on the wolf back. Your alpha has spoken. Yeah, man, this chapter, this chapter it was fairly decent. It was fairly decent. Three out of five. All right. I'll see y'all later.